Welcome back to this five part video series about how to structure and buy real estate using creative financing. This is video three in the series and on this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about structuring and buying real estate using a creative financing strategy known as a land contract or contract for deed. Get ready to learn what it is, the pros and cons and how to use it to make money in real estate. Coming up. Hey, it's Jerry Northern Nation's leading expert on flipping real estate. And if you're new here to make more money and less time flipping real estate so you can live your dream life, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. Just to clarify so there's no confusion, mortgage states use a land contract and trust deed states use a contract for deed, but it's basically the same thing. For ease of use on this video, I'm gonna just use land contract. A land contract is another form of creative financing and it's a type of seller financing. If you remember from video two in this five video series, seller financing is when the owner sells you the property on terms and carries or finances some or all of the purchase for you. And by the way, before I forget, all of the links to the videos in this five part video series will be in the description box below as they're released so you can watch them later. Now a land contract is similar to regular seller financing except unlike regular seller financing with a land contract, you don't actually get the legal title to the property until after you meet the terms of the contract and pay off the balance owed to the seller. Once paid in full, you get the deed. But in the meantime, while making payments on the land contract, you the investor have what's called equitable title to the property. This means the owner can't sell the property to a third party or subject the property to a lien or encumbrance that would interfere with your interest in the property. Now the way that you protect your equitable title is by filing with the city or county what's called a memorandum of land contract. This is an abbreviated legal document referencing the land contract itself. This memorandum serves to put the public on notice of the buyer's interest in the real property without the parties having to publicly disclose and record the full land contract in all of its terms, including price. So if the seller were to try and sell the property, the memorandum of land contract would pop up in a title search clouding title and preventing the owner from selling. So let's discuss the pros and cons of a land contract, but first, today's video is brought to you by Flipster, the number one house flipping deal management platform on the market. If you've never heard of Flipster, not only does it organize, streamline, and automate all of the steps of flipping houses, but it actually finds and funds deals for you. It's really cool, so whether you're working on your first deal or you're doing deals every month, Flipster can take you to the next level. To learn more and see it in action, just go to getflipster.com or click the link in the description. So what is the benefit of using a land contract? Well, first of all, just like with pretty much all creative financing strategies, if structured property and under the right circumstances, a land contract is a win-win for both the seller and the buyer investor. As an investor, a land contract allows you to buy a property with little to no money down, depending on what you structure, and do it without coming up with all of the cash for the purchase price and without having to qualify for conventional bank financing, giving you the ability to do more deals. A land contract benefits the seller if he's willing to wait to get paid because he usually can get a higher price and he's also able to collect interest on monthly payments. So why would a land contract be used instead of seller financing? The real benefit of a land contract is it's a lower risk structure to the seller. Remember, with a land contract, the seller retains ownership to the property until you fulfill the terms of the contract. With regular seller financing, the buyer takes title to the property, and in the event of a default where the buyer stops making the payments, the seller would have to follow the legal foreclosure process, which can be lengthy and expensive. With a land contract, in the event of a default, the process is much simpler. The seller would file a court action called a land contract forfeiture, in which the buyer would forfeit all of the money paid to the owner, including any down payment, and the equitable interest would be terminated so the owner would get back the property. Here's the bottom line. Seller financing gives the buyer more control and the seller less control, and a land contract gives the seller more control and the buyer less control. So if you can choose, pick seller financing. But really, the only negative impact it would have on you as the buyer is if you were to default on the contract. Everything else is the same, so either one is a great creative financing strategy for investors. When it comes to making an offer to buy using a land contract strategy, follow my two-step process covered in video one of the series, which you first make an all-cash low offer and then follow up with a higher creative financing offer. This is how you quickly discover if the seller is willing to take more money later, creative financing, or if he wants less money now, cash. Also, when negotiating and structuring the deal, remember the three most important terms other than price covered in video two in this series, 
which is down payment, interest rate, and maturity or when the due date is to pay off the land contract in full. Now, I hope you learned something on today's video. If you did, show some love, hit that like button right now and leave a comment. Let me know your biggest takeaway. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. I'm dedicated to helping you make more money in less time flipping houses so you can live your dream life. And finally, this was video three in our five part video series using creative financing to make money in real estate. Be sure to watch the next video in this series where I'm gonna show you how to buy real estate using the subject to strategy. Now this is used when the seller has an existing loan on the property. So watch that video now. And remember, it's not about the money. It's about having the time and freedom to have, be, do, and give everything you want in life. That's what it's all about. And I'll see you on the next video.